The Caribbean continues to struggle with the many vulnerabilities associated with climate hazards, such as hurricanes, flooding, drought, landslides, and sea level rise that regularly take a toll on its economies. According to the International Disaster Database, between 1963 and 2017, countries in the region on average lost 17% of their GDP in the years they were hit by storms. These losses are not only reflective of damages to infrastructure, but also reduced business operations and job losses. Now faced with the devastation caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, the region's efforts to help governments, employers, and workers become more resilient to a changing and a challenging environment have been negatively affected. This is really the, the period at which our, our member states needs us the most, uh, given the fact that COVID has really impacted in the way we uh, do things, the way we work. There's greater social dialogue. Workers and employers are coming together to see how they can make their workplace safe. Um, businesses and governments are coming together to see how they can put in place policies that guarantee the, the continued sustenance of businesses but also in a way also provides the income through taxes to governments. We've lost some, pro some, some progress, but I think we also made progress in terms of social dialogue, in terms of occupational health and safety, in terms of awareness in, in, in what is needed of, of the work and the workplace, the employer's responsibilities to the worker, the government responsibilities uh, in managing these workplaces. According to ILO Recommendation 205, employment and decent work for peace and resilience Resilience is the ability of a system, community, or society exposed to hazards to resist, absorb, accommodate, adapt to, transform, and recover from the effects of a hazard in a timely and efficient manner, including through the preservation and restoration of its essential basic structures and functions through risk management. Well, the ILO's participation in, in the overall UN disaster response uh, uh, is mainly done through our participation and our active participation in uh, the UN country teams. In the Caribbean region, or the English and Dutch speaking Caribbean region, which is covered by, by the office here in Port of Spain, there are six Dutch UN country teams, and they are the ones that ensure that the UN's response at country level uh, remains uh, as one, as it is said, that the, I, the UN should act as one, uh, which is important and something that the ILO is completely committed to, and especially so it's important in times of crisis and disasters. So to those efforts, the ILO brings its standards, uh, social dialogue, which means the participation of, of workers and employers in, in the processes, as well as its technical capacity and expertise on building back better, uh, which means, for instance, creating jobs while protecting fundamental principles and rights of work. Now, as the ILO, uh, as the agency, specialized agency uh, responsible to workplace, we've really been supporting member states in looking at various uh, interventions and policies to support, first of all, ensuring that the impact of COVID does not seriously um, affect their operations, but most importantly, it does not affect their workers. It's not, it's just about recovery or building, it's about building back better. We don't want to go back to where we were before, we need to be in a better place. The use of technology has revealed to us that we can actually do things much more in a much more efficient way, in a less costly way. Uh, so let's build on that and prepare ourselves for a better future. Find out more about the ILO Caribbean Resilience Project at ilo.org slash Caribbean.